In this video, you will know the top 10 poker players in WSOP. Professional poker players who prove poker depends more on experience than luck. Collect the deck of playing cards and get to know these 10 greatest WSOP poker players throughout history. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and use the poker strategies we tell you in the channel. Poker elders play with thinking and strategy. Josh Aria. American poker pro Josh Aria has been a force at the WSOP since 1999. He earned his first bracelet and 202 8 in 1999, and his biggest score came in 2004 with a third place WSOP main event finish for a cool $2.5 million. REA has added five more WSOP bracelets throughout his career, most recently in 2021. With over 12 million in live tournament winnings, REA is a true poker champion. Daniel Negreanu. A charismatic and popular player, Negreanu has six WSOP bracelets and is a force to be reckoned with at televised poker events. His extensive knowledge of the game, engaging personality, and smooth talking skills make him a fan favorite, both at the live tournaments and on the broadcast. Billy Baxter. The poker legend you're likely looking for is William E. Baxter Jr. He's a champion with a whopping seven WSOP bracelets and a Poker Hall of Famer, 2006. Baxter's gambling journey started young, hustling pool at 14. He even ran his own underground casino. While not ranked by total wins, WSOP uses bracelets. Baxter's a true poker great. Men Guyen, a poker champion also known as The Master, has a remarkable story. Fleeing Vietnam in 1978, he went from losing heavily at poker to becoming a WSOP champion with nearly $9 million in earnings. He's a record-holding four-time card player player of the year and known for his charity work in Vietnam. Johnny Moss a.k.a. the grand old man of poker, was a Texas-born gambling legend. He started young, watching for cheaters, which turned into poker lessons, then became a road gambler in oil towns. The 1970s were his peak. He won the very first WSOP main event, 1970, and went on to win two more, 1971, 1974, a record only matched by Stu Ungar. He earned a total of nine WSOP bracelets, Moss's skill and impact on the game landed him in the first Poker Hall of Fame class, 1979. He passed away in 1995, leaving behind a legacy as a poker great. Doyle Brunson, a pioneer of Texas Hold'em and a member of the Poker Hall of Fame, Brunson's 10 WSOP bracelets represent a golden era of poker. He's not only a master at the felt, but also a respected author, having written several best-selling poker books that continue to guide aspiring players today. Fourth highest WSOP wins. Johnny Chan. Chan's legendary back-to-back -back main event. Victories in 1987 and 1988 cemented his place in poker history. He has a total of 10 WSOP bracelets and is known for his calm demeanor at the table, a stark contrast to some of his more flamboyant competitors. If you like the video so far, be sure to subscribe to us and become a professional in the world of poker. Third, Eric Seidel. A true poker legend with a reputation for quiet intensity, Seidel has quietly amassed 10 WSOP bracelets throughout his long and illustrious career. He's known for his exceptional all-around skills and ability to adapt to any game format, making him a constant threat at the tables. Phil Ivey. Often regarded as the most naturally talented poker player ever, Ivy boasts 10 WSOP bracelets across various game types, 
His elusive playing style and mastery of strategy have earned him immense respect in the poker world, even with his relatively infrequent appearances at tournaments in recent years. Phil Helmuth, nicknamed the Poker Brat for his flamboyant personality and often vocal outbursts, Helmuth is the undisputed king of WSOP with a record 17 bracelets. He achieved poker legend status in 1989 by winning the prestigious main event at the young age of 24, a record that stood for nearly...